Joining me now, Inuit Tapirate Katatami, president in the town Obed. He joins us from Rome. He met with the Pope, was part of the delegation of First Nations, Métis, and Inuit leaders, elders, and residential institution survivors. Uh, President Obed, uh, Natan Obed, great to have you on the program. Um, you met with the Pope on Monday. Um, I know you had a series of demands. Was there any indication that the, the, the Church and the Pope would publicly apologize, release the documents, release the artifacts, and pay compensation? The, the key four requests you've had. Uh, well, it's good to be here, Evan, and no, uh, there wasn't an immediate response, response by the Pope. The Pope did listen intently to the positions that were laid out by Inuit. Uh, he did summarize and, and, and gave some remarks at the end of our encounter, but uh, neither he nor any uh, senior members of the Catholic Church have yet told us explicitly uh, what will happen next in relation to uh, our key positions and requests of the Pope uh, that we made on Monday. What is your response to that, this sense that you're waiting in suspense while they decide whether the Church will apologize or compensate? Yeah. How, how, what does that tell you about the, the power dynamic going on here? Well, I mean, ever since the 2006 Indian Residential School Settlement Agreement, the Catholic Church has been walking in this line of um, expressing regret and sorrow, but not necessarily uh, doing all that it could to implement the Indian Residential School Settlement Agreement, um, pay restitution to former students, fully comply with the terms of, of the, uh, the ruling, and then uh, recently not necessarily being clear about when it might apologize uh, or fulfill the TRC calls to action, how it might uh, ensure that sexual predators are brought to justice uh, that are members of the Catholic um, order, and then uh, when the, or if the Pope might come to Canada. We do hope that the Catholic Church will be clear about these things in the very near future. But it is challenging. Uh, it's a challenging environment to work where we just don't have a lot of the key answers to the very reasons why we are here and why we have chosen to come to Rome and uh, have encounters with the Pope. The delegates and you among them spent time at the Vatican Museum yesterday. They include artifacts from indigenous communities, some of them uh, Inuit artifacts, as you know. Um, we had the uh, Métis National Council President, Cassidy Caron, told CTV News yesterday, those artifacts need to come home. But Archbishop Bolin from Regina told us, no, we were putting words in her mouth. Th there's no request to bring those home. They want more dialogue first. Do you want those artifacts to come back to Canada? Well, I, this, is a, this is a challenging issue. And there are many different perspectives. From an institutional perspective, we would like to have a partnership with um, the Vatican Museum and the curators of the museum to understand exactly what uh, Inuit artifacts are in their possession and how they came to come to their possession. Uh, then we will uh, most likely have regional conversations where um, the proper jurisdictions within Inuit Nunagat would in engage with um, the museum. And that would allow us to get to the best possible decision about what to happen next with these artifacts. Uh, uh, some may be best suited for display uh, within the Vatican Museum. Some um, may be deeply spiritual or deeply um, uh, cultural uh, that belong in our communities. But we need to have those conversations first. So I'm not in a position to say one way or the other uh, how I, I, I feel about this, because the Vatican Museum um, staff that we did work with or talked to yesterday expressed an openness to continue a dialogue. And um, I will follow that to its logical conclusion. OK. I, I know Tanya Talaga, a well-known um, um, indigenous journalist and writer, um, she was essentially told to leave when she took a picture of those artifacts. Uh, I'd love your comment on that. But <clears throat> you also uh, specifically called on the Pope to intervene in the case of Johannes Rivoire. 
Uh, the Nunavut RCMP laid a new charge against Father uh, Rivoir yesterday regarding complaints of historic sexual assault. He's in France. He's a French national, so he can't be extradited. How did the Pope respond to your, your request to have him uh, extradited to Canada so he can face charges? I asked the Pope to directly intervene and ask um, Johannes Rivoir to voluntarily uh, return to Canada to face uh, justice and if that was not possible if the Pope would use all of his power um, to work with the French government to ensure that either he is tried in France or that extradition is possible. Uh, the Pope did not respond to me directly about my request to him but I do hope he takes it to heart that this is a personal request and one where he alone may be able to do something that nation states have not been able to do um, and that we have not been able to do is to bring this person to justice. Just before I let you go, sir, you're going to leave on Friday the last meetings. What, what would you like to see emerge from this historic meeting? What, what concrete actions would you like to see by the end of this week? Well, you know, it goes back to the initial conversation that we were having about power and balance. Uh, we have self-determination. We have chosen to be here. And I do hope that the Catholic Church, uh, from the Vatican administration to the Canadian Council of Catholic Bishops to the Pope himself, will start to reframe their interactions with us uh, from one of expecting us to be just pleased to have an audience, um, to follow their rules and their processes, to one of mutual respect and um, all walking in reconciliation with us. That will require them to make good on um, calls to action of the TRC. It will demand that they make immediate repayment for the funds that uh, they were told to, to pay. Uh, in restitution under the Indian Residential School Settlement Agreement. But it will also require um, them to listen and to respect our voices in a way that just hasn't happened to date. And I do think all of this is possible. I hold out hope that uh, these institutions can change and that there can be more respect uh, in a space that, where there wasn't respect. But that starts with action. It starts with consequences for human rights abuses, consequences for crimes committed against children, and the church has uh, the ability to play a very meaningful role in seeing justice in all of this. All right, I gotta leave it there. Inuit Tapirate, Canada Tamil President Natan Obed in Rome. Thank you, sir. Thank you.